Let's go back to 1998, the ALDS postseason. Dot good and on the bump for the then Indians. This one's brought to you by SeatGeek, and he doesn't like that he didn't get that call. Use code JOHNBOY, $20 off your first purchase at SeatGeek. Stares in a little bit. It's 2-0. and Umpire, his name is Joe, kind of looks back, says, let's get on with it. Come on, keep playing. They put down the sign, another fastball. That one is where? Doc Gooden doesn't like that now, kind of looks in. He's like, God damn, where is it? Turns around, puts on a little show, three pitches. All right, my bad, sorry, I'll stop. Manager walks out to the mound. Doc's talking, I'm good. They're fucking balls. Okay, okay. I'm not trying to piss you off. I'm sorry. They look at each other some more. Manager Michael Hargrove comes out. He says, they're right down the middle of the zone. Are they? Let's take a look. It's, uh, I mean, he catches it like just barely below the knees, which means it probably crossed in the zone. Who knows? It's very borderline. Manager says, like, where did you have it? It was down. He says, no one's calling that effing ball up. He says, I'm telling you it's not down. Yes, it is. No, it's not. And then he must say it again like it's not down. Or he says something, he gets run. Three pitches into a playoff game. Don't tell me what the F is low. Oh, I'll tell you what the you F is low. You don't get to tell me nothing. Oh, did I hurt your feelings there, Joe? I had to tell you that those balls Who are the not F F are low. you to tell me what to do? I don't tell you what to do, and you hey, don't, don't have you to tell me. Don't you F touch me. I didn't touch. Don't you F and touch me. All I'm saying, Joe, those balls are not low. Just looks at him. But for you to miss both calls, that's why I'm saying I didn't argue with you. I just told you that. And you run my ass for it? And then they talk a little bit more, and then he leaves. And he's on his way, and he's going to miss the whole game of sides. Three calls. Oh, no, wait. He goes back for more, and it seems like it's a bit calm. And it is, the um says, Michael, Michael, Mike, listen to me. Right now? Really? Yeah, right now. And then the broadcast had mentioned that he was upset about a call in game one of this series, but it was a blowout, so he couldn't argue. So my guess is he's bringing that up and saying, and that call yesterday was crap, too. And the ump's like, really? Right now? Finally, then he leaves. Ump straps on his gear. He heads to the clubhouse. Can't watch the rest of the game. Did get to see those three pitches, though, and they were exhilarating. Here they are again. That one's low. We all agree. This one, uh, this one, uh, I don't know, borderline maybe. The next pitch is a ball high. How about that? So he walks the batter, and then the umpire stares at him. He's like, come on, get mad at me again. I'm itching. Get mad at me again. Come on, let's do it. A 1-2 pitch to the next batter, a steal second, overthrow, goes to third. Gooden's not having a great time on the mound. And then, once this check swing on Nomar, Ump says, no, he did not. And he did, so that's also a call that's just not going Doc's way. And uh, Nomar puts one off the wall about a foot away from a home run in the first inning. It scores one. The second runner is rounding third. He's heading home. Doc Gooden's right behind him. He's got a great view of the tag. Gets him. The sleeve moves. He hasn't touched home. And the great news is home plate umpire had a great view. He was in perfect position. He saw the whole thing. He says safe. Says safe. And that's just a couple batters later from the whole ordeal earlier. So Doc Gunnan's like, screw this, man. I'm out. What's wrong with you? What do you got against me? Newman's holding him back. And then this super old uh, guy who maybe isn't even that old. Maybe this in, in 1998 age, he's 60, but he looks old. And look, he's, oh, I'm itching. And Doc is uh, pissed. Pissed. He's going to leave. He's going to throw stuff at the ump and say, that's for you. You clean it up. And then he's going to walk down the tunnel where his manager is going to be waiting for him and say, hey, man, let's crack maybe a beer and watch this game together. Throw out the ump, says that sign from the fans sitting in the seats. If you want to be a fan sitting in the seats, you can use code JOMBOY. Get $20 off at SeatGeek because they are sponsoring this breakdown. Thank you to JOMBOY. Oh, no, I meant thank you to SeatGeek, but thank you to myself, too. It was fun.